Welcome to Onorn TV and today we're going to do Green Sciences Enviro Battery. Yeah, we are going to do science experiments today using normal things in your environment such as apples, potatoes, uh, water and water bottles and we've got this kit here. Where do we get it from Owen? Amazon Prime. Yep and in, uh, Green Science has a lot of different kinds of experiments and they're relatively uh, good prices. Uh, they don't cost very much. Amazon Prime gives you free shipping too if you use it. Uh, so well, let's go ahead and we'll open this up and let's see what we've got here. Yeah. Let's see. Whoa! It says we have this is the first time we're opening it up and it said it comes with uh, a lot of instructions and Whoa. it looks like it probably does. So it's much supposed to come yeah it's supposed to come with everything that you need uh, to do these experiments and it looks like they've got uh, pretty good instructions here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set these up and we'll come back and show you what we got. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. Let's see what it is in this. Let's open it up and see what we got yeah. in that package. It was in a nice sturdy box mm -hmm. too. Uh, so it doesn't look like anything got damaged. It looks like it's packaged pretty well. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Why don't we see what's what we get in our kit? Okay, oh. so here's all the stuff that what we do we got? Have. We got like two plastic cups. Yeah. One red just a paper cup. cup. That's yeah. a paper cup. Two or bottle three. caps. Yeah, three. three bottle caps. They look like they're kind of specially designed for these experiments. Uh, they've got little holes, holes in them for the yeah. electrodes and stuff to go through. Then we've got some stuff. What do we got here? A clock. Yeah, a clock. I think that's a sound chip, it says, because one of these experiments uses sound. And then we've got some copper wire or copper plates and some zinc yeah. plates. And then what's this here? A light tower with LED lamp. Yeah, I think one of the experiments will uh, be able to light this LED lamp up on this tower. Yeah. So let's see. We'll open this up and take a look. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll put that over here. And we'll put it right there. So there's our LED lamp. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then we've got all of our leads. This kit's pretty nice because it comes, it looks like it comes with everything that you need, huh? Even go, it might electrify some people if they don't even know. I know, huh? You gotta yeah. be careful with electricity. Yeah, to not like get tased. Yeah, <laughs> don't tase me, huh? Yeah, don't tase people, kids. If you try to tase people, your parents might get mad. Yeah, there's our clock and our sound yeah. chip. Our tape. All right, well let's go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna set up some experiments and we'll come back and show you what we got. So we have two potatoes, a connecting wire, two zinc plates, four platforms, and two copper platforms. The and plates, the clock. copper plates. And the clock. Yeah. And our tape that came with it. Yeah. The kit came with just about everything, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing we had, to, what did we have to get from the grocery store? The potatoes. The potatoes is pretty much it. Ever or that is it. The only everything else came came with the kit. It came yeah. with the instructions. One of the only things that the instructions didn't tell they tell us they're really good instructions and they explain it. I mean a kid could do this all by himself. Owen could have really done it by himself, but he wanted me to help. The instructions are very easy, but uh, they don't really tell, explain to you what's happening. Uh, and what we're doing is we're making an electric battery out of these potatoes. It's an electrical, yeah. electric chemical cell. And uh, by putting the copper and the zinc in the potato, they have a chemical reaction, right? Yeah. And they, uh, the potatoes, uh, just pretty much a buffer for the reaction and uh, it makes it produces power then so let's go ahead and we're gonna put this together so let's see what do we need to do first Owen do this <laughs> yeah we'll stick that that's good stick that in the potato let's put a zinc one over here yeah that's good 
Okay. Now we need to do the same thing in the other potato, right? But with the zinc one first. Uh, it doesn't matter which it's one you like put in. It's like an alien. Yeah. <laughs> like a potato alien. So this one's going to... Yeah, this well, let's one. put the copper one in. Now, you don't want them to touch. The experiment will still work if they touch inside the potato, but you really don't want them to. Um, all right. So what we're going to do then is uh, we need to... Yeah, there's a little bit of water that comes out of it. What we need to do is which one, Owen, how do we hook up, how do we hook up that clock? Okay, so it's this. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the... Which one's the positive? The red one. The red one. So we're going to take the positive and we're going to put around which one of these, which one of these, the copper or the zinc? The copper. The copper. The copper is always positive and your zinc's always going to be the negative. So we're going to thread that through there and we'll, we'll take it. Here, let me see. I'll help you with that. We'll kind of twist it. The wires come, they come pre-stripped already. So just take them and twist them. And we want to make sure they make a good connection. So the kit comes with tape. So here, Owen, why don't we go ahead and put a piece of tape. A little bit of tape. First, bit here, put of tape. that tape. Put it on there to hold that wire. It'll just help it kind of make sure it has a good, good connection, right? Yeah. All right, now where are we going to hook this black one? To the negative one. The zinc, right? Same thing, we'll thread it through there. These already came punched with holes. Uh, like I said, it's actually a really good kit for yeah. for the price. Uh, it's really easy. I just wish I wish they would give you a little bit of a narrative on on what uh, what was happening. Okay, now what are we gonna do with this white wire on oh, the connector wire? Okay, so this is what we're gonna we're gonna put we're oh, gonna we connect. The tape. We yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah. We're going to use that connector wire to connect the copper and the yeah. zinc plates in the potatoes together. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do the same thing here. Let's do this one first. Put our little piece of tape on it. And one thing to remember too is whenever you're done with this, you can... Uh, you can take this all apart and you can clean those plates off. Just make sure they get clean so those the chemicals and starches from the potato uh, are off of them. And you can put it all in a Ziploc bag and put it away and then do it again another time. Yeah. So like us, we might do it, right, Daddy? Yeah, we'll probably end up doing this experiment again. Yeah. All right, now what's happening? What do, what do we got now? Look at that. Look at that. There's 21 seconds. Well, it's 12 o'clock on, uh, on it. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. And look, there's no there's no battery here. We totally used the potato yeah. as the battery. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So these potatoes are producing power using these zinc and copper rods. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Science is pretty interesting. Pretty cool okay. stuff. And then, then, then. So we'll go ahead and we're going to clean this up and we'll come back with another one. We're going to do one more out of this book. What are we going to use instead of potatoes on this one? Plastic cups with dirt. Yeah, and dirt. There, It's got to be a little bit of moist dirt and just kind of pack it a little bit. Uh, and we're yeah. going to use we're going to use the same copper and zinc electrodes, uh, plates, connector yeah. wire. And this time instead of a clock, what are we going to use? A sound chip. Yeah, we're going to use this little sound chip that came with the kit. And we're going to use the paper cup that came with the kit. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do this. What we're going to do is uh, we'll connect so, the connector wire. That one's going to be right And we'll there. do it to a zinc. And we will do it to what kind of, what kind of metal is this one on? Copper. Copper. Why don't you go ahead and put those in the cups, and I'll hook up the sound chip. 
Which, which, the, what does the red wire go to? Which one? Copper or zinc? Copper. Copper. Copper is always positive. I'm gonna be like a jump rope. <laughs> kind of, huh? Yeah. Here, let me put that zinc one on here. Okay. Put the zinc one on the on the negative because the zinc's always negative. Yeah. Zinc. I wonder. You think you think zinc, uh, zinc's a negative, Nancy? Yes. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't want to hang out with zinc if it's always negative. I would. Hang you out would. With copper. Copper, because it's always positive. All right, here. Go ahead and put these in. Which cups does it, do these each go in? Yep. You put a zinc and a copper together, and a zinc and a copper into the other one. The, the moist dirt's just acting as a buffer again. Once again, same thing. Chemical reaction between the zinc and the copper. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, no, our, our kit's broken. And I don't hear any. Do you hear anything, Owen? I don't hear anything. No. But if you go and you put this thing close, close to your ear, you can hear a little buzz. You hear that little buzz? Yeah. yeah. And what we're going to do, what are we going to use this paper cup for? To put... It on top of the bottom. Yeah, we're going to kind of use the paper cup as an amplifier to amplify that sound like yeah. a speaker. Can you hear it? I can hear it from here. It's a very, very faint buzzing. Let's see if we can be super quiet and hear it. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but it's definitely uh, easier to hear. It doesn't produce very much power, so it's not going to give you a really loud sound, but... It's a good experiment that shows you that, you know, it does yeah. put out enough power. So I think that's all we're going to do for today. Yeah. we got a really busy weekend yeah. and we wanted to do the water one. Maybe we'll come back next weekend and we'll do the water one with this little light tower that yeah. we've got. Uh, it's over there somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. Pile of goodies. But we'll do that one maybe next weekend. Yeah. So what's, what do you want to do? What's, what's your pleasure, Owen? Don't. Forget to like and subscribe and look on greenscience.com and look for the next one I, you want us to do. Yeah, I don't know if it's greenscience.com, but go ahead and look yeah. at Green Science. Google search it and you should be able to find it. Yeah. Uh, and if you have, take a look, comment, and let us know what other experiments you want us to yeah. do. Yeah. We'll, maybe we'll come back and do another experiment that everybody wants. Yeah, now